Hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So, after nating i-discuss yung illustration of permutation of objects, so for this week, so we will be discussing on how to solve word problems involving permutations of n objects taken r at a time. Okay, so let's start. So for the lesson objective, we will solve word problems on permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So, let us have, again, permutation. So, kapag sinabi nating permutation, of course, ang pinaka-pinopoint out po niya dito is yung arrangement ng mga objects. So, in short, order matters. So, to find the permutation of n objects taken r at a time, we use the formula uh, n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial where in n is greater than or equal to r. So, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng n tsaka r dyan? So, n is the total number of objects. Yung kabuang bilang ng mga bagay na ina-arrange. And then, r is the number of objects taken at a time. So, kung meron tayong total number of objects, so from those total number of objects, so kumukuha lang tayo ng iilan. So, yun yung tinatawag nating taken r at a time. Okay, so maaring kunin natin lahat yon, maaring isa lang, dalawa, depende po. Okay, so, why is it n is greater than or equal to r? Okay, so syempre, kailangan mas malaki ang bilang ng total dun sa kinukuha. Like for example, kung ang total number ng students is 5, and then, ang R mo is 10, so impossible na makakuha ka ng 10 dun sa 5 lang. Okay, so dapat mas mataas yung value ng N kesa sa R. So, let's have problem number 1. Evaluate the following. So, ayan. So, using the formula for permutation of N objects, taken R at a time, so we will evaluate the following. So, yung una, 11 taken 5. And then, yung pangalawa naman, N, uh, 8 taken 3. So, dun muna tayo sa letter A. So, let's identify the value of N and R. So, yung N po natin dito is yung 11. And then, yung 5 naman is yung R. Now, the formula for uh, permutation is n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial. Now, we will substitute the value of n. So, the value of n is 11. So, we will substitute 11 factorial over 11 minus the value of r which is 5 factorial. Next, 11 factorial all over 11 minus 5 is 6 factorial. So, yung next na gagawin po natin is express natin yung 11 factorial hanggang dun sa 6 factorial para makancel natin yon. So, it will become 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. All over 6 factorial. Now, we will cancel out 6 factorial. And then, imumultiply po natin yung mga natira. So, 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So, our answer will be 55,440. Okay, so I ibig sabihin, 11 taken 5 is equal to 55,440. Next, for letter B, we have 8 taken 3. So, yung uh, N po natin dito kasi, pwede natin kasi express yung permutation as ganito. Ayan. So, kitang-kita na yung N is yung 8. And then, yung 3 naman yung R. Now, again, applying uh, the formula for permutation, So, n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial 
equals, so ayan, so isasubstitute ngayon natin yung n and 3. So, n is 8 factorial all over the quantity of 8 minus 3 factorial. Next, 8 factorial all over 8 minus 3, that is 5. So, 5 factorial. Now, so kagaya ng ginawa natin dun sa first example, we will express the factors of 8 factorial up to 5 factorial lang. It's because, ikakancel natin yon. So, magiging 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial all over 5 factorial. And then, we will cancel out 5 factorial. And then, multiplying the remaining factors will give us a product of 336. So, saan po galing ang 336? So, product po ng 8, 7, and 6. So, again, 8 taken 3 is equal to 336. So, let's have the second problem. How many permutations can be made from the letter C, D, E, F, G, and H taking two letters at a time if no letter can be repeated? Okay, so tinatanong dito kung ilan permutations ang pwede nating makuha sa mga letters na nakasulat. So kung bibilangin po kasi natin ang letters, so meron po tayo 6. So n is equal to 6. Ito po yung total uh, number of letters. Okay. And then taking taking two letters at a time. So dun sa 6 na yon, kukuha po tayo ng tigdadalawang letters kada time. Okay. So that will be R is equal to 2. So, ang ibig sabihin yan, we will uh, have P of 6 and 2. So, 6 taken 2. Ayan. So, and then, we will apply the formula. So, 6 taken 2 is equal to N factorial all over the quantity of N minus R factorial. And then, substitute natin yung n tsaka r sa formula. So, n is equal to 6. And then, r is equal to 2. So, magiging 6 minus 2 factorial. Next, 6 factorial all over the difference between 6 and 2 is 4. So, 4 factorial. Next, express natin yung uh, 6 factorial hanggang dun sa 4 factorial. So, yung factors niya, 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Okay. So, all over 4 factorial. And then, ikakancel natin yung 4 factorial. Matitira na lang po is yung 6 and 5. So, imumultiply lang po natin yung mga natirang factors. So, ibig sabihin, 6 taken 2 is equal to 30. So, 6 times 5 is 30. So, what does it mean? There are 30 ways or 30 permutations that can be made from the letters C, D, E, F, G, and H taking two letters at a time. Next problem, number 3. 8 mathematics books are to be arranged on a shelf. In how many ways can you arrange this books if there are four available spaces. So, based po sa ating problem, so yung n po natin dito is yung total number of mathematics books, which is 8. So, n is equal to 8. Next, yung r naman is yung four available spaces. So, walo yung books, apat lang ang available na space dun sa shelf. So, apat lang po yung ating mailalagay. So, apply natin yung formula. So, n uh, 8 taken 4 is equal to n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial. And then, substitute n. So, 8 factorial all over the quantity of 8 minus 4 factorial equals 8 factorial all over 4 factorial. Now, express natin yung factors ng 8 factorial. So, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 
times 4 factorial all over 4 factorial and then we will cancel out 4 factorial and then we will multiply the remaining factors 8, 7, 6, 5 so 8 taken 4 is equal to 8 times 7 that is 56 times 6 336 times 5 1680 ibig sabihin there are 1,606, 1,680 ways on how to arrange the 8 books, 8 mathematics books, if there are 4 available spaces. So next example naman tayo, number 4. An athletic event was joined by the 7 representatives from the 7 provinces of Central Luzon. In how many ways can they be arranged as first, second, and third placers? So, may magaganap daw pong athletic event. Nasasalihan ng lahat ng mga probinsya ng Central Luzon. So, sa Central Luzon, there are seven uh, provinces. So, ibig sabihin, meron po tayong seven representatives. So, N is equal to seven. Now, what will be the value of R? So, based dito sa problem natin, ang posibleng mga posisyon na makuha ng mga mananalo, first, second, and third place. So, R is equal to 3. Now, applying the formula, so 7 taken 3 is equal to N factorial all over the quantity of N minus R factorial. Next, substitute the value of N and R. So, n is 7. So, 7 factorial all over the quantity of 7 minus 3 factorial equals 7 factorial all over the difference of 7 and 3 is 4 factorial. Now, we will express the factors of 7 factorial up to 4 factorial. So, magiging 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial all over 4 factorial so paulit-ulit lang naman po yung process po natin so kaya po natin ine-express lang doon hindi hanggang 1 it's because para makakancel po agad yung nasa denominator so ang denominator po yun po ang magisilbing tanda natin kung hanggang saan ang ating i-express so since 4 factorial ang ating denominator, so titigil po ang fact, paglilis down natin ng factors ng 7 factorial dun sa 4 factorial lang. So ikakancel natin ngayon ng 4 factorial and then we will multiply the remaining factors, so 7, 6, and 5. So 7 taken 3 is equal to 210. So 7 times 6 times 5 is equal to 210. Now, there are 210 ways na pwedeng uh, manalo yung mga uh, 7 representatives na 1st, 2nd, and 3rd placers. Siyempre, since tatlong places lang ang pwedeng uh, ang available, so hindi po lahat ng 7 representatives na yun ay mananalo. So, for our last problem, Math Club has five officers, President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, and Auditor. If a member cannot be elected in more than one position, in how many ways can the officers be elected if the club has 12 members? Okay. So, ang Math Club daw consisting of five officers siya. So, ayan po yung mga officers. And then, um, ang tinatanong niya, in how many ways can the officers be elected if the club has 12 members? So, yung bilang ng yung kabuuan ng members is 12. So, ibig sabihin, n is equal to 12. And then, since lima lang po ang posisyon na pwede nilang paglabanin, paglabanan, so, r is equal to 5. Now, i-apply natin ang formula. So, 12 taken 5 is equal to 12 factorial all over the quantity of 12 minus 5 factorial. Okay. So, equals 12 factorial 
over 12 minus 5, that is 7 factorial. Now, express natin yung factors ng 12 factorial hanggang sa 7 factorial. Okay. So, magiging 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. All over 7 factorial. Now, 12 taken 5 is equal to the product of 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So, 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 is equal to 95,040. So, ikakancel natin yung 7 factorial. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong 95,040 ways para uh, isaayos ang mga position ng 12 members na yon. So, kung lima lang po yung available na uh, position. So, after natin i-discuss yung solving word problems involving permutation of n objects taken or at a time, so, in next na video lesson naman natin, we will find the value of n or r using the formula of permutation. Okay, so, Meron kasing mga word problems na given yung number of permutations. So, inahanap po doon yung total number of objects o kaya naman yung kung ilan yung kinuhang objects doon sa kabuuan. So, which is R. So, ayan, i-discuss ko po dyan kung paano ang proseso pag kukunin po natin yung value ng N o kaya naman yung R. So, hindi po pwedeng parehong mawala ang N at ang R. So, imposible pong masagot po iyon. So, isa lang po dapat ang unknown. It's either N or R. So, yun lang po. Maraming salamat.